Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we're going to be doing um, butter milk um, scones. Um, I've got all the ingredients set out. It's quite a straightforward recipe. Um, I haven't got the recipe on me, it's upstairs on the computer. Um, but it's quite forward. Obviously I'll leave it in the description for you to follow. Um, I have got a requested video. Um, that should be up soon, um, next week sometime, which was Apple Turnovers. I can't remember off the top of my head who it was by. Um, and I also got a follow up video of the Jaffa Cakes one we did, um, which I've actually done it a recipe different um, to the last one where it's a lot sweeter. It won't never be the same as real Jaffa Cakes, um, but it's a lot better than the last one we done. Um, I did say I was going to do a part two. Um, yeah. Also, why we haven't been around is we've been busy, and plus we've all been ill. Um, you probably hear it in my voice. I've had a cold. I've got a cough, <clears throat> and yeah, and we've all had it. Um, even my nieces and that. So yeah. Um, but we're gonna get back into it. Um, also, I posted this video, this picture, up on before the video goes up, of. See if you guys can guess what we're cooking. Um, so yeah, it's on our Facebook page. All our social media links are in the description below. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get you guys set up on the tripod. And we'll crack on with the video. Right, literally all you need is a fork. That is just to break it all up. What you're going to do is going to put all your dry ingredients in first. So we've got here... Um, plain flour. Like I say, I, the recipe's upstairs. Um, right, it always happens when you go to start a video. Yes, my camera died on my battery, so now I'm using my phone. Um, so I went and grabbed the recipe that I'm doing. Um, we got 400 grams of plain flour. Just add in all the dry mixture in first. 100 grams of caster sugar. We've also got baking powder, which is half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of um, bar carbonated soda. And I believe this was. Quarter of a teaspoon of uh, salt. I'm just gonna give that a quick, quick mix around with um, my fork. No, it's in shot there. Try and break up them sugar bits of lumps that were in there. Just gonna mix that in together. And then I'm gonna also add into the is 175 grams of margarine at room temperature. I have changed this recipe up slightly. And you just want to break it up with your fork just to like represent breadcrumbs also in the meantime while you're doing that you could also just quickly set your um, oven to a gas mark 7 um, 220 celsius 425 fahrenheit um, for roughly roughly about like 12 minutes I believe, yeah, 12 minutes. Well, if you don't want to use a fork, you could just shoot, bring it together with your fingers, which I'm actually going to do. It's a lot quicker rather than using a fork.
Not allowed to say that's that's what you want. A bit like that, just like breadcrumbs. This is what you would do, just plain flour, a bit of sugar for like the top of your apple crumble. But we're not making that I'm afraid. So yeah, that's in there. Now we're just gonna add in 250 mils of buttermilk. Just grab a spoon. I just want to bring it all together now. The dough might be a bit moist, um, and then obviously once it's all combined, it, you're gonna um, you can put it um, turn it into a ball and obviously put it onto a floured surface, or if not, you can flour a bit of um, clean film. And roll it out into two bits of clean film. I'm just going to bring it together with my hands. It is a lot of more stickier um, using buttermilk, and that is why you put it out onto a floured surface so it actually combines with the flour. It makes it more firm. So yeah, that is like that. It's always best to use the same sort of flour you've put in there, rather than using different flour to roll it obviously out on the side. And so I'm just going to grab some. Wash my hands quickly and grab some salve raising flour. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm just going to move this glass dish, tray, sorry, chopping board rather. So we're just using plain flour. I'm going to sprinkle this out onto the side. Grab some cutters. We're just going to be using these pastry cutters, all different sizes, and a rolling pin. All a rolling pin. What I'm going to do is get my my dough out of the bowl. Place it on the surface. Also you can use flour if you've got it on your hands, which takes the dough off. So I'm just going to just roll this in a bit of flour, just to firm it up so it's not too sticky. Like so. Right there. That there is beautiful. Just gonna sprinkle a bit more flour on there now. Just 
just so it rolls out. Obviously, it depends on how thick you want it. I don't want it too thin, and the size of the cutter, how many you get. So I'm going to roll mine out like that. Ooh, making a right mess. So I just got a little tape measure. We are about 14, 14 inches by 10, and about so two centimeters, about two centimeters thick. And I'm going to roughly use about this size, small, medium, um, which is about three inches round. Like I say, it all does depend on how big you roll it out, the thickness of it, the size of your cutter. I mean, we've got 12 there so far. We've got 12 there so far. Just going to flare a tray quickly. Just going to put them straight onto a tray. I mean, if you only want to make 12, you could uh, wrap this the leftover up in clean film and keep it in the fridge for up to a day or two um, and then reuse it. You don't have to. Um, Obviously, use it all at once, which to be honest, that's probably what I'm gonna do because that way, if they get eaten so quickly and everyone wants some more, then I got them to actually have some more. I'll just grab another tree, a bit of flour. Just to stop them sticking. They are a lot more softer and squidgier than the normal scones you make. Okay, so I'm going to take so you've got six on each tray. So there you go, twelve there. I'm going to wrap that bit up and actually save it. Just gonna stick this into the oven. Mine's already preheated. I have to keep an eye on them because obviously our oven works pretty quick, so I'm smothered in flour as you can see. Um oh, before I do that <coughs> sorry about the coffin. I'll just drag you over here slightly. I'm gonna quickly brush them with some buttermilk. 
Yeah, so I'm just going to literally quickly brush them with buttermilk. A little bit of buttermilk. And just literally stick them straight into the oven. <coughs> Alright, so you can also just put buttermilk on top and I'm also just going to sprinkle some sugar over six of them and then leave the other ones um, plain I'm going to sit them into the oven now just mark seven for roughly about 12 minutes obviously it does depend on your oven some of them works different than other. So there, be back in 12. Okay, they're out of the oven now. They've been resting for a little while. Um, they're on gas mark 7 for the allotted time of 12 minutes. As you can tell, yeah, we've got 10. I uh, had a little accident where I actually knocked the coffee over onto one. Um, I thought I'd try it and it just tasted of coffee so yeah these ones are the plain ones and these are the ones that I sprinkled over with sugar they've both been brushed with buttermilk and so I'm going to grab a knife that's soft that's not hard that's soft you can see that my fingerprint in it. So, so we cut that one. Oh wow. Look at that. That is fluffy. So we'll cut this one. Exactly the same. But with sugar on top. God, just look at that. And this is similar to um oh see it's like a, an American recipe. Um what they similar to what they would call a biscuit. Um, normally, they would have this uh, a biscuit, um, gravy and sausage, um, which is I've actually tried, which is actually really amazing. Um, but yeah, so let's give it a taste test. So yeah, that is just so soft and so squidgy. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. Really soft. Let's go with the one with sugar on it. Mm. Definitely tastes a lot better with sugar on top um, than the plain one. Um, but like I said, it's a bit like a biscuit, what they call out in America, um, where they would have it with basically sausage, gravy, and bits like that. Um, yeah, I actually prefer it with the sugar on top, um, but it's still nice without the sugar. It's so soft. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed that video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, turn the little bell notification on where it should, have, where it should say subscribed. Um, it should be green, um, sorry, grey, um, and it should say subscribed. If it's red, click the button. Um, also all of our social media links, like I say, are in the description below. The recipe will be down there as well. Um, I'm going to try and get all the pictures up. I keep saying I'm going to do it and just don't. Um, but hopefully in the next week or so, the video, uh, the pictures will all be up on Instagram. Um, so yeah. Give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you guys next time with another video.